Hello and welcome to True Facts About the Jaruna Parva. The heck am I? I'm just called a sea bunny. And despite the popular name given to it by the internet, this is not a rabbit of the sea. I know, fooled me too. This is an invertebrate from the family Discordidae, or more commonly known as sea slugs. Again, why is Latin trying to give us tongue twisters with every animal name? Compared to slugs and snails, sea slugs are the most flamboyant and active of the family. Like, seriously, I haven't seen anything more flamboyant than that time I entered that drag queen competition. <clears throat> They're commonly found along the coasts of Japan, the Philippines, and the shallow waters of the Indian Ocean. Their main diet consists of coral, smaller sea slugs, and sea sponges. Looks like Gary is hiding some secrets. Sea sponges help give the slug its toxins, which makes it toxic enough to kill 10 adult men. That will make for the most pathetic way to die due to the fact that they are no bigger than your pinky fingernail. Hey Jim, did you hear what happened to Kevin? No, what happened? He died to a sea bunny. <laughs> due to their size, sea bunnies only live for a couple months to a year, which means they must mate before they die. Because time is so short, sea bunnies are hermaphrodites. So whenever they find another sea bunny, they'll immediately do the freaky freaky. And freaky freaky it is. These little sexual deviants created a new sex position known as the Harpooner 69. This position involves both partners mounting each other and penetrating a pike-like reproductive organ into the forehead of the other to release reproductive cells. To these kinky playboy bunnies, our sex is boring. On these cute little things, the appendage that resembles the ears of this sea bun bun are actually the sensory organs that help detect food. They get the appearance of looking fluffy because they created branches to increase surface area. The more surface area, the better they are able to sense things like food and mates. The fluffy tail is actually gills, so technically the sea bunny breathes out of its butt. So next time you see a bunny, it's probably breathing out of its butt. Uh-oh. This ain't gonna end well.